Hello and welcome to AQA's JHEP's lesson on quick sort first item. This is also an MEI lesson as well. Um, Edexcel can look at this, but their speciality is in the middle item, and they're the only example to do that. So, first of all, quick sorting is well, it says it's supposed to be quick, but it's I think it's the most difficult one to understand and grasp the concept. But here's a bit of terminology that you probably just need to get to grips with, which I've explained in, um, explained in bubble sort, which you might want to have a look at. So if you want to read it, um, pause this video before continuing, otherwise I'll just continue. Um, bubble sort is actually quite different um, than the others. In this case, you would need to select pivots and such like. In the others, you don't, you don't, do you even know what a pivot is? It's a kind of it's a it's a middleman basically. It's the piggy in the middle, and basically um, the numbers either go to the left of the pivot or the right of the pivot. And because this is asking for um, the numbers to be put in ascending order. That means the numbers underneath the pivot will go on the left, and the numbers um, above um, above the pivot go on the right. So, what you need to do first is you need to select the first number, which is number one, and then you've got to scan the rest of the numbers and see if there are any num other numbers which are smaller than one. I'm going to just put the one in this box over here. And as you can see, there aren't any um, numbers which are smaller than one. So one is uh, one was our pivot, and we're just going to color that blue. Okay, bad choice. But that's number one. Yeah. Um, and then we've got all these other numbers here, which are on the right of it. So now what we've got to do is pick the next first number. Okay, which is eight. Yep. So now we've got to find out what numbers, okay, excluding one, we don't need to worry about one, what numbers are less than eight and are more than eight. And we can see that four is less than eight, six is less than eight, two is less than eight, and so is seven. Okay, so that's our second comparison. So we've got all of that, which is four, six, Oh gosh. And make sure there are in order as well. Make sure they are in order. 4627, 4627. Don't mix them up. Bad idea. So 46278. And that was our pivot. Make sure you track which ones are our pivots and which aren't just yet. Okay, so that is our pivot, and that is also our pivot. Now, what you've got to do is to actually pick the next um, first number, which is 4. I shouldn't have put it in the box, but which is 4. This is our next pivot. This is our third pivot. And then we've got to decide which numbers are smaller than... Um, which numbers which are not pivots just yet. Which numbers are smaller than 4 and bigger than 4. So then what we do, 6 is bigger than 4, so it stays on the right. 2 is less than 4, so 2 goes over here. 7 is um, larger than 4, so it stays here. So if I write it out properly, it would be 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and we've got our pivots. Um, over here, over here, and over here. Um, am I missing any other pivots? No. So this is basically, and it's sorted as you can see, um, the process is complete, and this is just quick sort. I'll get on to another example because it's actually quite difficult to... Um, grass this concept. Um, all I've done is just change the numbers over. So, first item is four. That is our pivot. Okay. 
So we can write a P there to signify it as a pivot, or we can write a box, or we draw a box in it, do whatever you want. Now, is 8 um, more or less than 4? It's more than 4, so it stays on the right. 1 is less than 4, so it goes on the left. 6 is more. 2 is less. So we write 2 here. Remember, there must be an order. And 7 is over here. Okay? So I'm going to write it out over um, 1, 2, 4, 8, 6, 7. And that was our pivot. 4 was our pivot. Now, what's so different about this question is that on this side there are two white boxes. As opposed to this one where there were, well, there were none, there were no white boxes. So, what you do you use, um, you pick the first number here as the pivot and the first number in the second list, in the second block as the pivot. It, it may help if you think about it as two lists. So for example, the number, um, the numbers before 4 are list A and the numbers after 4 are lists, list B. So pretend that this is list A and this is list B. So we pick the first number of list A and the first number of list B. Don't forget um, forget about 4 because that was our pivot. We are not going to change that now. So 1 and 2, there are no changes there. So we can write 1 and 2. 4, oh, we might want to write P as well. 4 was our pivot. Now. We should look over here. Um, we've got to this side. Is 6 less than 8? Yes, it is. So it will go before 6. 7 is also less than 8. So it would go before 8. Okay, just like the first one. So if I write it out properly, it would be 6, 7, 8 as a pivot. Okay, all we're doing is selecting the pivot and rearranging the numbers so that the numbers less than the pivot are on the left and the numbers on um, the numbers more than the pivot are on the right okay and as you can see here one two four six seven eight that is in correct order and all we've done is a grand total of one two three three comparisons okay and that's it for quick and uh, for quick sort another way which you can do is actually swapping the numbers around but that will be in the next video of quick sort it's an item thank you for watching